Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Nonrev Sims and welcome to another Sims 3 how-to video. My very first how-to video was the video for installing, converting, merging, and organizing custom content using S3PE. If you would like to go watch that one first because you're unfamiliar with S3PE then go ahead and go over there. But today's video we are going to be focusing on how to edit package files particularly CAS package file so basically your cast custom content the reasoning for doing this is because sometimes there are creators out there who will mark their custom content for random which I talked about over on Twitter and basically making your custom content valid for random has it so that all of the sims in your town not just your household or your active sims they are they have access to those custom content so if you have some like crazy things out there like y'all know if y'all y'all got some bodycon dresses and you got Jocasta Bachelor walking around in a bodycon, that's just not, that's not Jocasta style. So we're gonna be talking about how to make sure that the Sims outside of who you give this custom content will not show up wearing that custom content. Again, this will work for hair, clothes, shoes, anything cast related, accessories, all of the above, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Again, I talked about this over on my Twitter and a few people asked me for a quick video on how to do that, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. If you would like me to talk about how to edit package files or custom content for build and buy items, because that is also possible, if you have this issue where your whole miscellaneous tab, miscellaneous decor tab is full and laggy, I can talk about that in another video. Just let me know down in the comment section if you would like to see a video on that, otherwise I'm not gonna bother. But yeah, let's get into it. So to edit these package files, we will need one of my favorite Sims 3 applications, which is S3PE. She's my go-to. I use her for merging. I use her for everything, okay? We're not necessarily going to need to open up the app, so I'll just leave it down here in the side. But this is S3PE. It'll be linked down in the description. Over here, I just have two. Let me move them up. I have two package files that are custom content that I know need to be edited. This tutorial will also work if you have like cast items that are marked for maternity if you have sims walking around that are pregnant and they their clothes or like their waist is cut off or things just look weird this is also how to edit that i'll talk about everything once we get into it also do not be afraid if you have merged your package files using s3p already you can still edit the package file itself if you have like one big merge document you can edit that document if you have a particular package file that you need to edit i'll talk about it it's a little confusing Using. once we get into that portion of the tutorial um, I'll tell you all how to do that but for now let's just say we just downloaded these two items here um, we just freshly downloaded them we know we want them in our game we're gonna merge them soon but before we merge them we want to make sure that the package file is all set all good to go so we don't want sims walking around wearing these items we just don't need random townies walking around wearing these items so let's go ahead and edit that package file all right, so if this is your first time using S3PE, because I know a few people use CC Magic. Also, if you use CC Magic, I am to merge your package files. I am not sure if the second part of this tutorial where you can edit the merge file will work. Again, I don't use CC Magic, um, so I can't really tell you guys if that will work. If this is your first time using S3PE, I will tell you how all this works. Like I know a few people use CC Magic for their files, so a lot of people don't use S3PE, but we're gonna we're gonna get into it. So if this is your first time using S3PE, let's go ahead and do this. What you will need to do is right click and then open with, and then to open this editor, you will need to choose the Sims 3 package editor. If you use Sims 4 custom content, and I'm pretty sure Sims 4 custom content is all in package file format, uncheck this box that says always use this app to open dot package files. Your Sims 4 package files will also open with Sim S3PE, which you don't need. But just in case you use Sims 4 package files, make sure you unclick this, just unclick this, and then choose Sims 3 package editor and click OK. Otherwise, your Sims 4 package files will also open in S3PE and you don't need that happening. Me, I don't use Sims 4 custom content because I barely play it, so I don't mind. Open up this app. We can move this down on this side because we're using this one. I know you guys are looking at this the same way I did. Like, what is this? What is, what, what are all these numbers? Don't worry, baby. We don't need to know all of these numbers. What you're gonna do is click on this little group right here, tag, and it'll sort 
by name so that's what you want click it and it'll sort in order by name if it's not already sorted in order you don't need to know anything about these numbers that's for custom content creators and modders you don't need to worry about these numbers you're gonna scroll down and come down to this little tag right here CASP you're gonna click on that one make sure it's highlighted and then you will come over here and click on grid that's all you'll do you'll click tag sort it come down to CASP and then click grid now that we have the grid open, you don't need to worry about any of this. Actually, um, just in case, because I am showing you guys how to edit package files, I might as well show you this as well. If you have an item that is, so particularly the, the, the centaur boots that you guys, we all know and love that used to plague our games back in like 2012. <laughs> um, if you have a package file that is you go into cast and you see like and you see maybe a child wearing a shirt meant for a teenager you can come here to age and gender come to age and if it was so let's say this was a teen top that was uh for that children were wearing too you could come here and make it true or false so false means that children won't have access to that cast item and true means they will have access to it so that's how you do that if you want to change the age if you have some makeup that you want to make for both genders um, you can also do that so you can make it true or false for male so for me I do have one package file of baby hair that's considered makeup and cast and it's available for my male sims I don't want it available for male sims so what I would come here and do is make this false you can either click the drop down or if you have a mouse that scrolls highlight it and scroll either or um, just make sure you double check it before you <laughs> you fix the package so all right then we can close up those little items there we don't need to worry about anything else here don't touch anything else um, then the next item we're gonna go to is clothing category so this is the main part here that I was talking about earlier on how you can make things not valid for random all right so if you would like to simply make things not valid for random what you're gonna do is scroll down here Come down to valid for random, do the drop down and make it false. So now Sims in your town will not be walking around wearing clothes that don't belong to them. Okay. Okay. That's how we do it. Simple as that. And then all you would need to do is click commit and that's, and then I'll show you guys what to do next. But if you just want to make it not valid for random, you choose false. So that means Sims in the town will not have access to this custom content unless you put it on them. But before we get into that, I will show you guys how to edit some things here because there are a few things wrong with this package file. This custom content is boots for kids. We want it for everyday wear. That's fine. These boots, I don't, I've seen them and they're not formal. So I'm going to make it false for my kids because I don't want kids wearing boots for formal outfits. Athletic, I don't think kids should wear boots for athletic. They should stick to gym shoes. Career, children don't have career. So we're going to make that false. Um because they, there's no reason for kids to have career outfits. Um, firefighting is false because kids can't be firefighters. We don't want it available for makeup makeover, which is basically the makeover stand from Ambitions. We don't need them to have access to that. Don't worry about anything else. Um, these are for horses, obviously, so that's gonna be false. Kids can't skinny dip, false. Outerwear, that's fine. We do want them to have access to it for outerwear, so we're gonna leave that as true. Um, Plumbot wear, obviously false because kids aren't, or we don't have Plumbot, Plumbot kids. Maternity, no, kids can't be pregnant, so we're gonna leave that false. Um, you can just basically go through all of these items, make them true, false. You know, if you're not sure what it is, I would make it false just in case. Like these unknown 1D, 1E, I'm not sure what those are, so I just leave them as false. Yeah, that's how you can edit your package files. My general rule of thumb is that if I don't know what the category is, I make it false. Unless I'm 100% sure I want kids to have access to that item. So once we finish that, we're going to go ahead and click on commit. And then we are going to go file and save. And then it'll save all of the choices you just made. And that's it. That's all. If you do find yourself like, oh, wait, I do actually want that to be available for formal wear. You can go back to grid and change it and save it again change it to true that's it that's all it's not permanent so if you want to go back and change some of these categories you are more than welcome to do that all right that's it that's all you guys are finished let's close this up and then let's do it again <laughs> just in case I wasn't too clear the first time all right so normally you'd sort this one by tag but I see here that the 
that this creator has a thumbnail for it and that's what thumb means thumbnail so in this instance we can sort by instance all right and then we're gonna get again look on this side for casp there we go and this is the thumbnail so this is this item here just so it's easier for you to see a reference point as to what you're editing so we're gonna go over to grid again bring this down here and we're gonna go first check that it's for the correct age so baby is true everybody else is false and then gender both male and female babies can wear that outfit then here we're gonna go to clothing category so in this instance babies only need one outfit category so everything for babies here can be false babies cannot be naked so we're gonna make it false they can wear everyday wear so we'll leave that as true babies don't have formal wear outfits they don't have sleepwear outfits they don't have swimwear outfits babies definitely don't have careers we're gonna change this all to false make sure everything's false and then again we're gonna turn valid for random to false we don't need other babies wearing this outside of our household unless you want babies to wear this that's fine just keep in mind that if you have high poly cc in your game you do not want the valid for random to be set to true so if you use alpha clothes especially because typically alpha clothes have higher polys you don't want sims in your town walking around wearing those outfits trust me it will slow down your game so if you have high poly outfits i would definitely recommend you make it valid for random set that to false all right everything else is false because again this is babies they have one outfit that's it that's all click commit and then click save there we go that's it that's all all right guys you have officially learned how to make outfits not valid for random it was that easy now let's say you are someone like me who merges their package files all right so really quickly here is my mods folder you guys have seen this all before this is nothing new um actually i think i did change it quite a bit in from the first merging video um but here i have a merged let's use this one um, actually let's use this one because i know this is in there all right so i have this package file here that was merged we're going to bring this out of my mods folder real quick just to make it easier for you guys to see so this is basically all of my cast clothing items merged into one so i have this quilted onesie already that was merged in a merged file in my game already so what i'm going to do is just open this one up here and show you guys how i can edit this package file that was merged into this file here so this was merged into this so let's go open up the original one so right here this is the onesie by itself and this is all of the merged package files that I merged quite a while ago so in this instance again we're gonna sort by instance I'm gonna do it two times because it was already sorted and here is this number so we need to we need to take note of this number here this instance number so this instant number instance number here is 0x233 DD honestly all we need to know is like the first three numbers up to D and then we're gonna come over here sort this by instance and we're gonna scroll and look for 0x233 um, rule of thumb in s3pe it goes first numbers then letters so it'll go one one two and then it'll go one a b so like that so numbers come first you'll see what i mean zero x one nine and then directly after that we have zero x one a so the letters come after the numbers in s3pe hopefully that will help you locate these numbers a little more quicker so we again we are looking for zero x two three three all right and i think we found it 0x233 all right right here and thankfully this creator gave us a custom thumbnail so we can see exactly what we want right there that is perfect so you found this instance number right here go ahead and click on grid and we are going to look through those items again so i have already edited this package file myself so that's why everything is set to false um, but we know it wasn't originally so you just click on grid again and you do that same thing over and over and that's that's it that's all y'all <laughs> click commit and that's it um let me find something else all right here we have this package file which are some pants again let's go into cast thumbnail thankfully they have a custom thumbnail so we can see exactly what it is click on grid this one i have not edited myself so hopefully it's edited perfectly all right we're going to scroll down valid for random already set to false perfect yeah this one is all set to go so everything that i want it available for is available for it all right that's it that's all and then once we're done here with our merge package all we need to do is click save i didn't edit the package file so it's not 
highlighted for me but if you did you would just go here and click save and depending on how large your package your merged package file is it could take a while to do this one is pretty large so if I click save it probably take at least a minute or two to actually save that package file but that's it that's all you guys that's all you have to do to edit cast package files in S3PE. S3PE is literally a lifesaver for Sims 3. If you haven't already gotten with the program, get with the program, all right? S3PE is my girl. But that's it, that's all you guys. Um, if you have any questions, please put them down in the comment section down below, or you can tweet me on Twitter at nonrefsims or send me an ask over on Tumblr. My Tumblr is nonrefsims.tumblr.com. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Like I said, if you're confused about something, leave a comment down below or reach out to me on my other social media. If you all found this video helpful and would like to see more of these how-to videos, or if you just wanna see some more Sims 3 content in general, then definitely hit that subscribe button. I will see you all in the next one.